Welcome to your journal 2.1 note taking and vocabulary. It starts on page 30 in your notebook. In your journal, I should say. So that was page 30 down here, I mentioned. That goes to 32. We're going to run through it right now. Uh, inequality, similar to an equation. It's a math sentence with that compares quantities. The difference equations have balance. Inequalities have an imbalance or an unbalance. They're not equal. They can be equal, but there's also an inequality part. Solution of inequality. The value or values which make the inequality. This is going to be true. Solution set. This is all the values which make the inequality true. I should mention, try to complete these before you uh, see me put them down. No problem making mistakes. You want to identify those. Graph of an inequality shows the solution set. Now, there's a couple of things down here to look at with words that I wanted to mention that normally be a note section. So this is a little bit different than this. But this is uh, some notes right here. Less than is subtract. That's right there. Right here. Is less than is an inequality. This is our is less than inequality. Okay? Uh, so, greater than. What's that going to mean? If less than means subtract, what does greater than mean? You got it right. Good job. That means addition. Versus is greater than. Is greater than. That is our inequality. And that's our symbol for it, for is greater than. Uh, words representing linear inequalities. First thing I want you to notice, is less than, x less than 2 on the graphs, that's this part right here, that is a, an open circle. So if, if we have the or equals, you can see the less than or equals that has the inequality with the little line left to it versus just the less than. Uh, less than or equal, greater than or equal, we graph with a solid circle to show that it includes the point. So I also have that mentioned down here. Uh, less than, greater than, use the open circle. Less than or equal, this one I'm looking at right here, greater than or equal, use the solid circle to graph. Closed circle includes the point, open circle doesn't include the point. Okay, another thing here. You want your variable on the left. The arrow points the same direction as the inequality. So we don't want to write negative 7 less than x. We want to turn everything around. x is greater than negative 7. Notice we also reverse the inequality. The thing, way well, you can think of it, points at the negative 7, open at the x. We still want open at the x, point at the negative 7. So try changing this one over here. 13 greater than or equal to m. What does that change to? You can pause the video if you want to write it before I do. But that's going to be m less than or equal to 13. Okay, writing a sentence. Uh, no answer for these ones here. It's a little too much of a giveaway. So uh, we'll do a couple of these for you. So this first one, I've broken it up. Read it. Write the sentence. Write the sentence as an inequality. 12, that's the first thing. That's one group. Is greater than, so that's going to be 12. Is greater than or equal. Greater than or equals. Have the greater than with the equal symbol mixed together. 5 times the number n. Right there. That's all it is. So again, it helps to think of this. Uh, one third. Okay of a number h. That all goes together. Is less than 15. So one-third of is multiplication. That's one-third times h is less than. That's just a less than. There's no equals. 15. Okay. That was supposed to be gone. Uh, I got my first two picked out there. You can get the third one that was just erased on there. You can get the fourth one. 
Number five and six, I do have a scrambled answer for. Uh, tell whether the value of a solution is a solution of the inequality. This is just plug it in and test it. N equals one. So I have nine greater than or equal to three times one plus six. Nine greater than or equal to three plus six. Nine greater than or equal to nine. This is, yes, it is a solution. Okay. Nine is greater than or equal to nine. If I would have had nine greater than nine, it would have been no solution because nine is not greater than nine. And that's really bad writing there. No solution. Nine is not greater than nine. So got to pay attention to those equals when you get those in there. Uh, again, make sure your variable is on the left. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, no answers for these graphs. One thing, kids, I won't usually, I kind of crossed out here, list every number. Too much work. Zero, one, two, three, four. You can figure out the other numbers with that. I don't like seeing all the numbers listed like that. Uh, especially handwritten, it gets crowded. They can get hard to see. Bigger numbers are especially tough. So let's graph these. X less than or equal to four. Well, less than or equal, we have to have our equal. So we can do this right on the line, and then we go to the left here. Again, we want that variable on the left. We go in the same direction as that. Sometimes I like to do them right above the line, because especially in your pencil, when you draw it right on the line, you can't see which way your arrow's going, because it looks just like the line from the uh, number line. So I like to do it right above the number line, too, because sometimes you can't see it on the number line. Number nine, x is greater than negative one. So I got to go to negative one. It's an open circle. There's no equals. We're going to the right. So that's the way the arrow's pointing. And we're good. That's it. Nine and ten, you can do those. I don't have answers for these posted. Uh, I do have some scrambled answers over here. Write the inequalities. Okay. So here I have zero. I'm at zero. It's open, so that's got to be a less than or greater than. It's going to the left, so I'm going to make this a less than, and our variable's on the left. Okay, same thing. You can start with the x. It's going to the right, so that's got to be a greater than. It's a solid circle, so that's greater than or equal. And then you just put the number in, negative 3. I can check it. There's one answer. There's another answer, so you can see your other 2 right there. And uh, there's 2.2. That's it. Okay, you've also got the MMP to do. Finish this up, take a picture, turn it in, make sure you submit all three pages as one document. Uh, I only look at, if it's three different things turned in, I only look at the first one. I'll make a note and let you know why you didn't get full credit. Have a great day.